I'll also go catfishing in my backyard. That'd be fun. Next year. Mow, mow a nice spot down back there. Yeah. My neighbor, he's been catching quite a few. I hate him. I've Good eaters. I've catfished quite a bit this summer, but. You have? I, yeah, I just haven't got anything great. I gotta, I gotta get my rigs set up again. Yeah, that's the problem. I have two little dinky rods. I got some 50 pound test braided line. Yeah. They're like the re- the reels on them are like this big. I had catfishing set up, so I just have no idea where they went. They're just gone. I have my tackle. It's all kind of a hard thing to lose too. It is. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I've moved so many times since I was like catfishing hard. I haven't been catfishing in over 10 years really i'll take you to my spot but it's i mean it's just like riding a bike you know I, yeah yeah i don't know i just because we i i have a little um 14 foot lund that we used to bring down in the river fuck we just pull up to a snag pile anchor down toss it like right in the edge that mm-hmm. and then would like float underneath the snag pile and just sit there and wait and you just wait for that fucker to <laughs> i like the bells because then i can fuck around with charlie yeah goof off just listen for the bell. Yep. Mm-hmm. I used to, I never belled it when I was doing it with like my buddies because we would just sit and watch our poles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'd only throw the bells on at night. Like we would have a bonfire on the river and then put the bells on when it was too dark to see your poles. Yeah. But with Charlie, it's, you got to keep that little shit entertained yeah. or, oh, definitely. or keep one eye on them yeah. just in general. Yeah. Tie a fire. That's, that's a situation where I, I may have a backpack kid. Yeah. Like, like, tie, like tie a rope. You get like it. one of those dog screw in things, like yeah. the, the, oh, long, yeah, like the long lead. Yeah. Yep. Those are actually great rod holders. Mm, I suppose. We used to use those all the time. The little red ones, the spirals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're great for shooting fire uh, bottle rockets off. Oh, you're talking like where you stick the pole in. Yeah. Ours is like a little triangle thing. Oh, I know what you're talking yeah, about. But yeah. Like I'm you talking- just put the lead or you just tether mm-hmm. the leash to the thing. I actually just had. I mean, I don't know where it is because I can't find my catfishing gear. Just three sticks in my backpack that were perfect wise. My dad's, yeah. he he was, so they're moving a bunch of their shit into these uh, units over here. Mm-hmm. And um, he has one rebar. He had one rebar, like perfect rod holder. Yeah. Y at the end. And then he had one stick that he like uh, athletic taped. Nice. Um, at the top, oh, yeah. It's you find a good you find a good one of those guys. It's hard to come by. Mm-hmm. Anyway, okay. We rolling. Yeah, we are rolling. There's catfishing corner. Yeah, yeah. Catfish um, corner. Ryan and Tyler. A little catfish talk in the yeah. morning. Uh, welcome back to the pod, episode one ninety nine. Yeah, guys. Next week's the big one. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, Two hundred of this shit. Uh, anyway, we're presented by Nicolay Law. Do you know that, Ryan? Only the best beard in the Midwest. Um, my dad now has taken to sending me pictures every time he drives by a Nicolay billboard. So I bet you, you, your guys' text thread is just like you're just scrolling through mm-hmm. photos. Yeah, it's like, oh, thanks, Dad. There's Russell. There's okay. Russell. Uh, There's you, Russell. You guys have heard the ad read before for Nicolay Law. Next time you're out in the interstate and for what we know, North Dakota, Minnesota, just just pay attention to the billboards you will see him and you'll yes if you haven't yet you'll see him some everybody some. start taking pictures of these billboards tag us and nicolay in it yes this is going to be thousands yeah and if you think you have a better beard you don't put it to the test russell's got a hell of a beard he does and when he that when that walks in a courtroom because you were personally injured at work mm-hmm. um case closed case closed the judge sees the beard and the bald head he knows to fear it and he just Bangs the gavel. He's like, case closed. And if he wears shades inside, I mean, like in the head cover behind you, he's got his, he's got his shades on. Mm. It's a classic look. Um, if he walks in the courtroom with his shades on, you might as well just walk out. See ya. You're going to lose. Take or the, you're going to win. Take the, the opponent the, guy is just going to quit. Take the cuffs off. Uh, change me out of this orange jumpsuit. <laughs> We're on our way home. <laughs> okay. Uh, it may be not that easy, but one of the best in the Midwest. Mm-hmm. So the best you, in the Midwest. You ever find yourself hurt? Check out NicolayLaw.com. I actually have weird fun fact. I mean, I catfish often now. I didn't for a long time. Yeah, and you were in a magazine. I am the Red Rivers catfishing expert. I've been interviewed twice, mm-hmm. and I am by no means an expert. It really? is just 
they needed somebody. They knew I catfished, so they called me. But it's really not that. If you have the right rod and the right in the right hooks and the right weights, it's really not that hard. No, it really isn't. It's very passive fishing, which is why I like it. Like I like tip ups. I like a lot of action too. Yeah, it you just you set it and forget it, and then it'll let you know if there's a fish. There's no. But anyway, I've been. I'm a fraud. I've been interviewed on the radio as a cat. They label me catfishing expert for the Red River. Put that on your lower third. I have I have like three spots that I go to. That is it. I don't know the Red (laughs) River like the back of my hand. And they have labeled me Red River catfishing expert twice. I mean, hey, if you think about it, though, published things. Think about it. Compared to most people who live near the Red River, you've probably catfished it. I suppose. Like nine, more than 99% of it. Comparatively, I am the expert. You yeah. ever fish for snapping turtles while you're no. catfishing? No, I never have. That that's, would be fun, though. It's it's like a um, it's like a side project to catfishing. So you're like, that's what you're there to do, right? The only snapping turtle experience I have is, is seeing them on the side of the road, picking them up and putting them in the back of my truck and then selling them to the meat market. I can say I've never done that. Yeah. But I, I have heard they're very good. Yeah, they are tasty. They taste like chicken. <laughs> yeah, <of course. laughs> People they, they really, taste like popcorn chicken. It's, the consistency is like chicken. They're a little fishier. Yeah, a couple things you got to try if you haven't. Uh, snapping turtle and uh, Rocky Mountain oysters. Alligator. Mm. Alligator is good gator. too. And frogs. Frogs are frog legs are good. Never had frog legs. Um, I also used to eat clams from the lake from Otter Tail. Interesting. Um, they they are a little grainy because they I mean look at they got sand, sand in them. In them. Yeah. But if you just crack those babies open and then. Um, Throw them on the grill and then just like drizzle some some melted butter on top of them. Interesting. Phenomenal. Interesting. It's primal too. I I, I, I would I do like, that. I've gotten like less primal over the years because I kind of just stopped doing all that stuff once I went to college and dead cheeses are now. way too available. Exactly. Um, I, my wife made a good point. Uh, we were driving by, and it's funny because whenever you drive by a fishing spot, you always got to say, "God, that'd be a great fishing spot." <laughs> mm-hmm. So we were driving by one of those spots. And she goes, I want to go fishing. And I go, yeah, I want to go fishing too. And she's like, it's it's really hard to like be a golfer and also have another hobby like mm-hmm. fishing. Yeah. Because it's a weekend thing. You have to pick one or the other. You got to pick one or the other. Um, and it's like, I'll give myself one hobby to do on a weekend. Um, and it's usually going to be golf. That's, that's why we do this thing, right? Um, so to like, to golf Saturday morning and then, want to go fish on Sunday morning. It's just kind of out of the cards for me. For sure. We get way too tired. Yeah, we could just yeah. Piv- yeah. pivot this. Uh, we could call it, change it to Breakfast Bobbers. Oh, And we can just be a fishing podcast for the next three months. We talked about that uh, early, early, at, like our first year doing this in the wintertime, like or fall, winter, starting to like doing some hunting content because we that's one that, thing. That's originally what this podcast, I was like, hey, Tyler and Ryan, come up with a podcast. And we're like, oh, okay. Uh, we like hunting and fishing. Let's do one of those. Yeah. And we act, I have the handles still. It, it was the Downwind Podcast. Yeah. Which is a pretty good name. Yeah. If, That's a pretty sure. good title. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, you don't want to be upwind. Never saw the light of day. Yeah. No, it didn't. Nope. Still, still hunting though. Still got the handles. Hey, we should though. just, hey, we should just record an episode of the Downwind Podcast where all we do is just talk about and then just never release it. Well, here's the first topic of the Downwind Podcast. Um, I got denied for uh, a deer tag this year. It's been the first year I've been denied in the last nine hey, years, I think. North Dakota boy. Couldn't be me. <laughs> no um, over the counter for you. Wow. That's yeah. So I, I thought. Is Bo's over the counter, isn't it? Bo's over the, well, no, Bo's not over the counter anymore. You're guaranteed a bow tag. You just got to get it online because when rifle tags became scarce, people would go to the gas station and buy a bow tag and then shoot it with a rifle. So oh, now yeah. you have to go the extra step of getting it, of filling it out online and then they'll send it to you. So it's not so bang, bang. Um, I haven't had great luck in the lottery this year, uh, deer hunting lottery and the master's lottery. You mm. checked it. I checked it. Yeah. So I wait, should I, it, I should have gotten an email this morning. Yep. Master's ticket, master's ticket lottery is now available. Results are in, uh, was on Reddit golf this morning as I always am. And I'm like, Oh shit. I already checked my email. I didn't have an email from it. So I logged into my app, the master's app denied check my i was just checking my emails this morning 6 a.m got it and i was like oh shit like maybe this is it no god i was like thanks for applying i kept reading were you hopeful though a little bit because the way it's like started to say it i was like okay i haven't seen like sorry like it says thank you blah blah blah. i'm like haven't seen the words no so i'm like okay okay 
was like, no, nah, fuck it. Um, I didn't get it. I'm God! Looking right now. I didn't get an of email. Of course guys. we didn't get it. I didn't get an email either. Really? But I don't, I don't think that's a tell. I don't think that's a tell all, Jake, whether you get an email because Trevor got one denied. Mm. I didn't get one denied. So come on, Jake. <laughs> come on, There's baby. There's no chance. There's people on Reddit Golf posting. I also put in, I only asked for two tickets because I figured me and my dad would go. Sorry, mm -hmm. guys. Wow. wow. Fucking guy, dude. I even gave you Don't guys, even check anymore. I yeah. even, I, I made sure to text you all. This was a Saturday morning. I was on my way to Red Wing Boots, actually, to get a new pair of boots. And I, I'm like, I got to text these guys to get their app in. Otherwise, we only have one chance of doing it. And that's me. Why am I not seeing this? Because you're in, go to, Jake. Go to tickets. Oh, I Have swear fun. to God. Follow your dad. Yep. Tickets. 2025. Continue to ticketing. Yep. Continue to ticketing. No fucking. I boy. swear to God. Nice. No, this is this is the path. The okay. Disappointment. Yep. Log falling. in. Log in. <laughs> okay. We got to log in. What's your uh, username and your password? Not telling. What is Do you your, also have your credit card number? What's the last four? Your Not social. Uh, what 2025 your application update. Unfortunately, your entry was uh, not selected. Uh, <laughs> shit. We're just like everyone else. And I I don't know what it was, but I like I was thinking I I had a Why? great chance. I, I, I don't know. I, I just I was super hopeful about <laughs> out it. Out of the million people that are applying, I got it. I was super hopeful about it. I mean, you think it's, you know, you got all the practice round tickets and all the actual round tickets. So yeah. that's what seven or eight days, six, seven, eight days. Where I don't know how many people get tickets. Is it is it like forty, fifty thousand a day? I would assume so. Yeah, probably forty to fifty thousand a day. I don't know. God, think of like I don't know. I was hopeful. I mean, I feel like it would be less. I don't know the number, but like it just a, feels like there's not like a shitload of people there. Like a baseball stadium is like forty, fifty thousand people, right? Yeah, and but NFL spread out across like, eighteen like holes, eighty thousand yeah. or something yep. like that. Yeah, I mean, that seems like a good amount of people to be spread out across eighteen holes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that sounds about right. There's got to be some sort of uh, there's got to be some sort of method because like there'd be like two thousand people per hole though. And there's definitely not that. I don't know. Two thousand people is less people than you think it is. If that no, makes I sense. think it's about two thousand. Yeah, like if you go to a red <laughs> if you go to a Red Hawks game and the stadium's half full, that's about two thousand. Okay. Yeah, but that's it doesn't seem like there's that many folks at, on a hole when you watch the Masters, you know? Right. I mean, I could be I could be very wrong. I just I'm just guessing. Guys, you want to know what? what? We're probably just a Google search away. Like one Google search away. How many people go to the Masters per day? Around forty thousand <laughs> every <laughs> single day. Yeah. So hey, I, I thought I had a good shot. And uh, so what? Hold on. So six, six days. days. Yeah. I mean, 240, a quarter million people get in to the yeah. Masters every single There's year. There's got to be some sort of formula too. like in when you apply for deer tags in, in North Dakota, they they say and I, and I've had success with it. But they say if you apply as a party, meaning like I put my mine, my dad's and my wife's tags like on the same ticket or whatever you have a better chance of of drawing one mm. um you also get points too every year you're not preference drawing. points yeah so they should do a preference pre preference point system for the master so it gives you know it gives more people a chance to go because you right. have more preference points better chance of going yeah then it's just old people getting in because they have they, they, they might have so 20 more, preference yeah. points built up yeah yeah i know but uh, if you don't that's like a great thing to do as a as like a father like you're once your kid turns six you just start buying them preference points to the masters that would be sick and then on his 18th mm. birthday he finally gets drawn yeah that'd be that'd poetic. Actually be kind of poetic. do you have to be 18 to apply i masters? have no idea they did ask you for your birth year yeah during the thing i don't know but ne this next year i'm sending out a mass text to every single family member i can imagine every single um, you gotta only send it to the people you know would bring you so don't send it to jake because he's not gonna bring you yep. well it's like it, yeah it i don't know even if like even if they have no intentions of going just apply anyways to try and get a ticket apply and then, for your kids yeah i'll take them over you know throwing it i'll throw a little extra just get top. like 45 emails now can you resell tickets to the masters i know it's probably highly illegal but you can you can buy re resell tickets can't you? yeah i think people i mean there is a price tag on going to the Masters. i just Go didn't know I, right now. I just didn't know yeah. if you, i didn't know if you could transfer from one name to the other if they would allow that or not i doubt it they're pretty pretty harsh on their policies That's kind of what I yeah um regardless though i mean they probably don't want you to i bet you there's a way to do it 
I mean, the scalpers out the <laughs> scalpers out there are some of the. <laughs> they're they're already all on eBay. Over eBay. No okay. shit. <laughs> Imagine if you there. could find like a like a I don't know someone who spelt like masters wrong or they accidentally accidentally did masters twenty twenty four tickets instead of twenty twenty five and you you found an auction where you can get tickets for like hundred some bucks a piece. I mean that's what they cost. There aren't they super cheap anyway? Right, but it's just the the, the resale value. Yeah, the resale they're going to resell for thousands. Um, regardless, a lot of disappointment in this room this morning. Uh, 0 for 4 Masters tickets. I got to text Son my buddies gun, whether dude. they got in or not. Um, how'd you guys play this last weekend? Did you play it all? I played one. I played one round of nine holes with a buddy who I haven't talked to in a long, long time. It was really, really nice to see him. So what spurred you guys like, hey, let's go golfing instead he, of, hey, let's go get beers? He actually sent me a snap of him golfing. And it was a bottle of Ice Mountain that he just wanted to show me that he was drinking, but it was Not clearly in a, a golf course. And... uh I was like, holy shit. I didn't know you golfed. I was like, we should golf. What are your days off? And he's like, yeah, yeah. We went, so we went on a Saturday morning and uh, it was great to see him. He's sorry. Can I interject one, one yeah. real quick? The fact that um, something like that actually went all the way through. I know he, he didn't give me any chance. He's like, we're fucking doing it because the amount of times where either someone else or myself to somebody is like, Oh, dude, we got to get out golfing together sometime. Mm -hmm. And it never happens. Yeah, I, I think all of our negative talking about how hard it is to schedule a tee time and all that got us some karma because I just he's like, all right, no, we're golfing. And so I go to the website. There's one tee time available for two people at 710. Hell I grab yeah. it and we're like, OK, we're golfing. That's huge. And we went I went back to the aforementioned, the infamous three and a half hour nine hole mm -hmm. course of Osgood. Smooth. Redemption. Big redemption arc for Osgood. Uh, it was an hour and 40 minutes. Love it. And my buddy is very new at golf. So, I mean, obviously there's quite a few bad shots. And I mean, I didn't hit awesome shots yeah. the whole time either. Um, but there was one hole, and I wanted to bring this up to you guys. It was hole seven at Osgood. That, that four. Par four, water on the par right. Par four, water on the, on the right, right, driving range on the right. Um, we got the same score on that hole, but we took very different paths. It that always it always pops in my head of like there's multiple ways to get a par there's multiple ways yep. to get a birdie when you and a playing partner take completely different paths to achieving that mm -hmm. the same score sometimes it's kind of wild it is yeah. it's just it's so strange to think about so he hit his drive pretty long on the right side short of the water and then his second shot 100 yards onto the green right this is his first ever attempt at a birdie putt. Wow. Attaboy. So he's got a birdie putt coming up. I hit a pretty dang good drive. I'm in the middle of the fairway, but then I go over the green. I'm in the sand. Okay. And then I pop it out of the sand, go back over the green onto the other side. And then I chip it short. So I'm now I'm on the green, but I'm I'm still a long ways away from yeah, the pin. Yeah, you're putting for your bogey, right? Bogey. Yep. yep. Putting for bogey. Um, he's putting for birdie. I hit a really i have a great putt i leave it like an inch away from the cup <laughs> tap in for double he four putts for double jeez oh what? so he four putts for double i two putt for double how far was his birdie putt his birdie putt had some length to it it was like 20 and i feel like that as a beginner that's one of the hardest mm -hmm. things to do yeah in the sport of golf is like is like knowing your distance on the green. Yeah, he 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 doesn't have touch yet for sure. Um, and the thing was is I let my wife borrow my putter the other day, so I didn't. Ha I showed up to this round without a putter, so I was using his putter the whole time. Okay. Um, but anyway, he yeah, I mean, he's his first ever birdie putt, so I made sure that he had to go last. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's um, what you do. But then yeah, he he doesn't have touch yet because he doesn't practice putting. He's just getting into the game. Um, but he four putts for double. I two putt for double. Which one would you rather do? Like, you're getting a double regardless. What is the best way to get a double? Oh, <laughs> to make I, you not feel like shit after. I would 100% rather four putt, or I'd rather two putt for double. Yeah. Because, like, the disappointment and the frustration has already kind of subsided from my previous shots that probably aren't even on the green. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you get on the green, and then there's so much less worry about, okay, well, I have to one putt for bogey or at two putt for double. Mm -hmm. And I have a 25 footer say in front of me. Um, whereas if you were like, if, if it takes you four shots to get on the green, then you're in fuck it mode. You're right. And it does feel good to end on a high note. Like 
My first putt was it was a 45 footer that I left an inch away from the cup. So yeah. I was pretty happy with that. I genuinely felt like I saved double. OK, I mean, and that, that's another way to look at it. So, so it was like I, I felt the double felt good rather than I fucking blew it and got a double. Mm-hmm. But also you know? just knowing you have a birdie putt in front of you and you putt, you putt, you putt and you putt again. It's demoralizing. It's like it, it, when you get into that situation of like, hey, you're within 40 feet here and it takes you f- four, four shots to get into the hole. Yeah. It's like that's when the frustration starts to mount for me. And then it also carries over to the next mm-hmm. hole. Mm-hmm. If I'm taking four shots to get on the green, the frustration has subsided by the time I get up close to the hole and on to the next hole. Yeah. I also have that like blocked out in my round to where it's like I like I mentally I know that I'm going to blade a chip at some mm-hmm. point in the round. Mentally, I know that I'm going to go long past the green on an approach some point in the round. And it very well could happen that those two shots happen in a row on the same hole. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like. Yeah. That's totally, you know, not out of the norm for me. I couldn't tell you the last time I four putted, you know, like yeah. truly, but, truly like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think the, the for him, the four putt was inevitable because like he doesn't he's working on putting, right? Yeah. Like yeah. He's, he sees he's a long ways away and he just hammered it, you know, yeah. like there's. And after but, you hammer one too, you get like you get really in your own head. About, and then you hit one super short. Correct. Yeah. And yep. that's exactly what happened. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just I I've wanted to like it sucks to get a double regardless. But I think the best way to get a double isn't either of those two ways. It's when you go OB. A hundred percent. Because oh, then yeah. you get that double just because of one shot. One shot. Yep. And you could play great. Every other shot of that hole could be really good and you still get a double. But the, you so you don't feel like a piece of shit when you get onto the next. Definitely. Tee. Yeah. I would also say that I feel pretty good like after an OB bogey. Like, oh, yeah, oh, absolutely. Like, yeah, dude, for sure. An OB bogey, I mean, there's mm-hmm. a smile on my face you really can't get rid of. Yeah, but like when you get a, a double after going OB, you're like, ah, that's all right. It's better than it's better than me quadding it here. Definitely. Yeah, you're like, yeah. that's what I expected. Yep. You know what I mean? An OB double is like the, you know, it's the most mm-hmm. obvious outcome. Dude, an OB bogey, though. Whew. Fuel, you're fucking high fiving. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I fucking scrambled my ass off for that one. Mm-hmm. And if you can, I mean, if you, if you can scrape a par across on an OB yeah. shot, now that I think this rule got implemented a couple of years ago, but like you you can't take distance off the tee anymore. You ha- If you want to take yeah. distance off the tee, like say you go OB off the tee and you want to take your distance, it's actually two stroke penalty, I believe. Yeah, you're Is correct. Is that correct, mm-hmm. Trevor? Yep, you're right. Um, yeah, that's yes. what I do. USGA no, that's not rules. What I, yeah, it's, yeah. That, that's normal yeah. golf rules, not regular golf rules. So regular it's like guy golf rules. You either hit another one, uh, hit another one for three off the tee, um, or you take uh, into, or sorry, in one and Out then two. two strokes, two, three, and then now you're hitting four. four. Mm-hmm. Let's say you're on a par three, and that's very tripleable. Oh yeah, yeah. Big right. Big time. Yeah. And that's why I like I feel pretty good walking away with a double after yeah. going OB. I feel shitty walking away with a double if it stays inbounds the whole time. Yes, mm-hmm. that's demoralizing. Yeah. Um. Now, penalty shots on like a second shot of a par five. Let's say you're you're gonna go for the green on your second shot. Um, I can deal with those par fives are great because you it's just like you hit you a bad drive ah. One extra shot to work with. Yeah, it just gives you a one chance to fuck up. Yes. And then you can save yourself. When it's like, okay, like maybe let's scrape a birdie across on this par five. Nope. Let's just, uh, hey, one extra shot to work with. If we if we five it, we five it. Yeah. Don't matter. I I think it's funny. When I first started golfing, I used to hate par fives. Yeah. Because they were the long hole. Like it was like, I just didn't have any distance, whatever. But I loved par threes. Now that I like, you know, can put now that I'm scoring and all that stuff, I'm like, dude, fuck par threes. Give me par fives yeah, all day long. I, I mean, yeah, I, why don't we have a par, a par five course? We got par three courses all over. Give us a par five course. Par oh. five course would be just nine holes. Kind of sick. Nine, nine par fives. Yep. What? Par four. So much. Yep. I think it'd be it, I mean, it'd be a, a lot more attainable to shoot under par on a par five course. Oh, oh, oh yeah. If you, if you yeah. got a really good round going on a par five course, like you may shoot under. Yeah. I just think it's funny that there's only par three courses. Why isn't there par four courses and par five courses? <laughs> Land. 
Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, yeah. kind of. I mean, well, yeah, they have executives, like, di- which is like, like yeah, whatever. Difficulty of like, um, like to add difficulty into a regular 18 hole course, like let's throw a 120 yard hole and then let's throw a 550 yard. It's just like the up and I, down. I get, of, I get why they don't. I was just yeah. more making a point. Like a nine but, hole par five course would pretty much just be a regular course almost yep. at that point yeah but it'd be unique it would it yeah would you be could, i mean you could have like a yeah. have a f- like 440 yard par five and then have a 600 yard par five um that's that actually be kind of sick yeah. I've, never, I've never i think it'd be it'd be a fun novelty yeah you know also it would be a little demoralizing to be like only playing nine holes but also being stoked to shoot a 55 you know yeah yeah but then you'd be you're like oh i'm 10 you over could, but you, you know? could play you could play it twice by 18 and then it's a par 90 but I mean, the, the reason yeah, for, sure. the reason for a par three course is to work on the short game and re- restrictions of land, right? Yeah. There's no course where you can just go specifically work on your driver driving and actually range. play the driving range. But that's boring. <laughs> that's boring. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Hit, 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 hit. And none of us no like a very small percentage of the golfing population know they knows how to practice on a on a driving range. right yeah we just well, go and hit balls and yeah. how often you you don't get to hit your long irons that often once your driver's figured out you get a par five course you hit your long irons that yeah, is quick, true. like a quick dog leg right or left yeah. and you, like hey it's more beneficial at a four iron here than it is a driver or you've got a 550 yard par five you hit it 300 yards you still got 250 yards you can hit a you can work on that <laughs> four iron or your hybrid from the fairway yeah, like I think from the rough in I, our I yeah. think par five holes are the best holes to work on course management. Yeah. Uh, hey, do I want to lay up here or do I maybe want to try and go for it? Like, where's the trouble at? What happens if I have a 20 yard miss to the left? Is it is it open space? Is it there are a couple trees like course management's huge for trying to score well. And I feel like you get more of that on par fives. Yeah, I think a par five course would be fun. It'd be awesome. How has no one ever? I mean, for us, I suppose, like just any PGA course is basically a par five course because it's so fucking long. We could just play from the tips. We could, we could, we could, could play. We could make go to a, all the par fours, fives. Yeah, we all, could go to a seven thousand yard course yeah. from the tips and just play that, and then just make the par fours a par. Five. Yeah, <laughs> the par threes are, are two hundred yards already, so mm-hmm. it's like <laughs> it just counted as a par four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Everything's I, bumped up one stroke, so they're par sixes, fives, and fours instead. Be kind of sick, actually. Um, I, I wonder how we would golf if we if we played around. We just picked a course around here and just bumped up the par one, and then played tips. So every par three is a four. All the fours are fives. All the fives are sixes. I we think, play tips and give ourselves a stroke on every hole. I think where that would make the most sense is Oxbow. Yeah, yes, Ox, anywhere. Oxbow is what seven thousand. It like. 69 to 7100 from the tips yeah let me look i mean here's the big issue we'd have to do it when it's dead because i know people would get pissed about us playing tips at our skill level yeah but we're also like we we, we can also still hit the ball a decent 73 yeah, from yeah the but 73 if somebody sees me duff one off the tee from the tips there's going to be questions. Yeah, no. <laughs> There's going to be I, questions I, I for that. sure. We're, we're pace of play guys. Yeah. Too. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. We could absolutely do this, but we got to do it like a Tuesday at 11 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've also, <laughs> I was also kind of wondering this last weekend, like why, like why can I hit a green from 150 yards more times than I can hit a green from 150 yards on a par three like uh like sorry uh, from the par, fairway yeah par four 150 yards in on my second shot some some days no question if the irons are on but yeah. a, i walk up to 150 yard par three and it's something about hitting off the fairway than hitting off a tee box is just it fucks with my head mentally dude i think i yeah i, I agree i well, you're saying that you hit the f- like the you- par four second shot is much better. better than a par three tee shot. See, I'm I the agree. opposite. My tee shots on par threes are way better than my approaches. Dude, I... I think I, it's because in the approach, my mindset is just get her close. But on the tee shot, I'm like, all right, I'm setting myself up here. Dude, I'm hoping and praying to hit a green on a par three. Hmm. Whether it's 120 yards That's like or... That's the only or time I'm hitting 180 greens. yards. Really? Yeah, it's like the tee box nerves where it's like, okay, this is the start of a new hole and you're like, okay, this shot matters for this hole where it's like on your second shot, okay, I 
chunk one, take one left, I can still chip up, make putt, and make par. Yeah, also, the margin for error is really small on par threes. I think that's why I get a little like nervous yips. Yeah, they kind of, I don't know, they throw, they throw a couple more difficulties in like around the green, whether it's like maybe some water over here. And I, I get they do that on every hole, but like mm-hmm. to make the, the hole more difficult off the tee box, they throw that in. I just diagnosed myself. It's none of the head game thing. It's just because I can put it on a fucking tee. See, I'm are just, you teeing up par threes? I, I'm just better at hitting a hitting a golf ball off a tee than with my irons than I am out of the fairway. You should because I hit them thin too often, and so uh, I just take that. That is not an option if I tee it up. Really, you should just start teeing up shots in the like. I should the fairway. I should just just to like just to see what would happen. Yeah, yeah. All right. Fuck, not a bad. Yeah, is, you hey, gave Tyler, me permission. Next yep. time I'm with Ryan, I'm teeing up. <laughs> Guys, Ryan said I could. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, hey, 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 don't come after us. Don't come after us. It's I'm like 280 out on this par five. I'm going driver <laughs> off the tee mid fairway. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. People are going to come after you for that. I let um, I let Charlie do that when we golf. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I, I he would tees too. it up in the middle of the fairway all the time. Yeah, why not? What people don't realize is that, like, you can play the game of golf however you want to play it. If you want to fucking tee, if you hit a bad drive and you want to tee it up on the fairway again, just tee it up on the fairway again. Just pick your tee up. When you're yeah, unless if we're not mm-hmm. affecting play, pace of play, just play it however you want. Um, and I, I feel like golf is one of those things that there's no, like, besides the pros, um, you know, like, in high school, you have like the next level of college. Okay. So there's the comparison of like, well, you like, if you play amateur baseball and I play college baseball, like there's, there's levels to that. Right. So I, odds are like, just hypothetically, I'm a better player because I play college and you're just playing summer amateur ball. Golf is like, everyone's playing the same exact courses. Mm -hmm. There's no levels below, really below professional golf say. Um, so I feel like, People, it's the game of golf's become such a dick measuring contest <laughs> and such like a, my handicap's better than yours. And it's like, what, like, why are people getting so hard about playing this sport where there's no levels and there's literally nothing on the line? Like if someone says something controversial online, uh, has a, like a hot take about, about golf, people will absolutely come for their throats. And people will think that they know the correct answer when it comes to anything. But like, why are people getting so upset about different takes and whatever in the game of golf? Because it's the internet. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) I I get that. But I don't know. I've been reading a lot of comments lately. And you got to stop that. It'll kill a guy. Well, no, but the comments don't. The comments do not affect me anymore. Um, they did early on year, years ago, but now it's just like, this guy's an idiot. And I you, like the one guy looked him up on 18 birdies and he fucking shot in, in mid 90s <laughs> last round. I was like, shut the fuck up, dude. Um, but it, it, that's one thing that's just been bothering me lately is that these like the hard Wait, so hold on, some dude shit talked to you. So you looked him up. Yeah, I did talk yeah, about yeah, it on yeah, the yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I, right. I even screenshotted his profile. I wanted you to put it. I wanted you to put it on the clip. But I it was like, ah, we better not. No, do that. no. Um, but I think I commented back in regards to his 18 birdies app and it's like, buddy, quit thinking that you're fucking Einstein in the game of golf when you just shot 95, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. So, sorry. I don't know why I, I, I had to get that on my sh- off my hey, chest. It's, it's unload hour right now. Yeah. Just I just get it off there. It's been bugging. Like, like who, the, like who are who you? Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, congrats. You're a fucking scratch golfer. What does that do for you? Get you laid? Probably not. <laughs> you know? It probably, yeah. Probably. Uh, Wait, it doesn't? <laughs> no. What I, am I working yeah, towards? Yeah, you're oh, wasting oh, your time, fuck, Trevor. Yeah. Oh. So, ay, ay, ay. Anyway, um, played last weekend. Had the five sum out. Guys, we we played like a three sum. Like, Quick, like moving fast. fast. Oh, oh God, yeah. We were, or was it just two guys so shitty they didn't count? <laughs> Uh, two guys just watched. Yeah. <laughs> we had two guys. We had one guy shoot 100. We had one guy shoot 96. Um, one guy shoot 85, 80, and another guy 86. And then, boys, once you know it, low score of the day, 78. Hey, oh, I, two, two weekends in a row. This yeah, dude. fucking guy, hey, dude. Kiss the 80s goodbye, Ryan. I don't practice anymore. I don't have balls anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't putt on the greens beforehand. I just go out there and whatever I'm going to shoot is what I'm going to shoot. It doesn't even matter. But here's what happened. This has never happened before. Um, 
I have like the weekend rounds with my buddies are, you know, I usually play at seven between seven and 8 a.m. Yeah. Well, we had a one of my buddies, his wife turning 30. So we were going to go out on the pontoon later that day. So like we're, we were going to have a day had an 851 tea time. Um, I was like, all right, I'm, I'll be drinking a little bit on the course. I haven't done that. And and to get four of your other buddies out for a five some is that does not happen. Often. Rare. So I was like, all right, yeah, let's let's get some beers. So I had had two beers and had one uh, Crown Sprite. And then a whole 16. My buddy's like, oh, let's do fireball shots. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. I, I'm, I'm feeling good. I've only had three drinks. Was it uh, a birdie? Was it birdie juice or just funsies? Just funsies. Okay. Um, it mind, was to encourage a birdie. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, mind you, I am... I am one over through 13 holes Jeez. and things were going well. So you were in the sweet spot okay. actively. I was in the sweet spot. Um, what I, what I disregarded was I did not have breakfast. I did. I don't, I don't eat on the golf course. I did not have anything in my stomach. So after this fireball shot, you guys, I'm not shitting you. I, like I couldn't see the ball straight. <laughs> And I'm like, wh- I'm like career, like p- potential career round back to back weeks going on here. And I end up bogeying the next five holes. <laughs> Luckily, I, I scratched across bogeys because it could have been way worse than that. Um, Ryan, you got to start drinking more. You got to get that taller. I know. Like, I have no tolerance <laughs> yeah. anymore. So we get into 18. Um, I end up uh, hit a hit a bad drive, hit a bad second shot into the bunker. Um out of the sand, two putt for bogey, 70. I, at this point, I knew I was going to break 80, so I'm like, I'm happy with it. I'm out with my buddies mm-hmm. having a good time. Yeah. Um, as we bring the carts around, I bring, I like, I took my bag to my truck. Mom, if you're listening, you got to turn it off right now. Um, I I just, I start dry heaving next to my truck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I go, I go sub 80, start dry heaving next to my truck, and I look over at my buddy, I'm like, I'm hopping in with you. <laughs> You're going to have to drive me yeah, home. We can come get this thing later. I don't know what happened. Two beers, mixed drink, and one fireball shot. Dry heaving. It's the 30s. Well, it was nothing yeah, in my stomach, nothing. though. That's getting old. Yeah. Nothing in my stomach. Yeah. Age and, nut- uh, and uh, nutrition. Yep. They say two for factors there. Every gray hair you get on your body is one less beer you can have before you puke. Well, I, I can't drink for the next 10 years then because my <laughs> the size of my head is gray, gray as can be. That's good look for you though, Ryan. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry to hear about your tolerance. R.I.P. Yeah. Should but hey, be- you're not sorry to hear about my go- my current goal. No, game, no, 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 no. Keep no, that up. Hey, uh, peaks and valleys. Yep. We are at the peak right now. Widows, peaks and valleys. <laughs> getting, getting, getting old. You know what comes after the peaks is the valleys. Oh, yeah. so, Ryan, we, you and I could not have had more opposite rounds this weekend, actually. Mm. Um, I played the worst 11 holes maybe of my life. Oh, sorry. Uh, Why 11 you, only? Well, the first 11. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. One, a reason. Yeah, you keep going with yours. One yeah. more point with this. Um, I got a, I got a new celebration on the course uh, for birdies. Yeah. Um, so par three downhill. Stuck one on the green, but it spun off the green, like right in front of the sand trap. I had like an uphill chip. The, the pin was on the other side of the green. Chipped it up. Tracking. Tracking. Dunk. Let's went you, you in. You dunked it or did it roll in? Uh, it rolled in. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the dunk would be sick. You Two know, you guys remember the key and peel skit where uh, the hip thrust with the referee. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's the new bir- that's the new birdie dance for me. I, I was. <clears throat> you only I get was, two though. Don't do a third. No, yeah. don't. Or the marshal comes screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the the hip thrust key and peel is that's that's my new birdie celebration now, that'll get people going too. too and i fucking threw my club off to the side and i was so jacked up i like that uh that was whole uh that was whole five so things were things were trending downwards after that <laughs> so you weren't drunk at that point yet no hell yeah not even the close, sober yeah. the sober keen <laughs> peel that's, that's great. crazy yeah so <clears throat> You got to add that into the repertoire. I might do the uh, I might do the uh, number forty four. Woo! They just call my number. Get some cold cuts. Get some Icky cold cuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Icky sh- yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I I don't know how to celebrate. My only one I ever do is just sheathing the sword. That's a good one. Like you make a good one, you just sheathe the sword, and that, I don't have a good one. Just a, a tiger fist bump. 
So you're, you're I got to start expanding. I got to watch some NFL tape, get a good one. Yeah. Like uh, you have a receiver, like Amon yeah. Ross St. Brown. He's a big time celebration mm-hmm. guy. Uh, and he, I don't think he was doing that. His hip thrust is weird in that first episode where he's doing the touchdown yeah. dance. Um, but yeah, you gotta, you gotta come up with something clever. Mm-hmm. Like birdie celebrations for guys like us should be like touchdown celebrations for guys in that. It NFL. should, because they're far and few between like few I, and far between big but, time. So are you changing it for an eagle celebration or is it the same for one? Sure. Eagle, you take your shirt off and you caw <laughs> and you run around flapping your arms. Definitely. Yeah. And like the shirt, I mean, you could do the happy Gilmore. Like uh, you could jump on like the uh, ride the pony, uh, ride the pony, punch one of your yep. buddies. Yeah. Yeah, p- yeah. Punch one of your buddies. Uh, if I had a hole in one on a, on a hole with water, I like I would I would think about diving into the pond. Would you finish the round or would you walk off? I'd finish. No, you the have round. to finish the round. Yeah, I'd probably take my shirt off. You got course record on the line. I mean, yeah, think yeah. Of what, <laughs> one twenty over, and I get a hole in one somehow. Yeah, think yeah. of what a double eagle will do for your scorecard, brother. Yeah. I Pass know. That one and off, if yeah. some, if some old guy's like, put your shirt on. This is a, this is a, golf cart, whatever. I'd be like, hey, you like free beer in the clubhouse afterwards? I'd suggest you shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm buying everyone a beer but you, you old crouch. You'll, yeah, the old fucker. Um, anyway, sorry. Go ahead, Jake. Oh, yeah. Uh, my round this weekend. Guys, I had the first. Okay, so me and Jade went out golfing this weekend. Uh, Eagle Creek in Wilmer. Great course, by the way. I would highly recommend. Okay. First 11 holes or first 10 holes. I was 48. On, so I was 48 on the front. Not a good round by your old boy. A um, lot of doubles, a lot of whatever. Driver just wasn't like just wasn't working. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. A lot of slicing, missing every fairway, just like random like just hitting it straight left it just was all over the place Mm -hmm. so a hole 11 is a drivable par four and i don't know about you guys but i play breakfast ball in the front and a breakfast ball in the back just keep one keep molly in the back pocket but only off the tee box whatever yep so we roll up to hole 11 this is beautiful hole mind you i shot at 78 with no breakfast ball so if you're thinking about coming after me it's over you can't even (laughs) 78 with no breakfast balls might as well be a 76 in my book oh yeah uh so we pull up the hole 11. It's a 260 yard par four, but it's and it's all downhill too. Ooh, so drivable wood. to the green. Do, yeah, three wood for you, maybe. I'm driving that with my seven. It's my longest club in my bag right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, 245 <laughs> with the seven iron. Yeah. 230 with the driver. <laughs> so off the tee box, You're not I far freaking. Off. <laughs> off the tee box, I slice it. It just goes way right. And it's kind of a little bit of a dog leg left. It's a blind green, though. Fruit Ninja. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slice. Slice for ninja sliced. And uh Jade looks at me and he goes, dude, just grip the club tighter. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? You'd be surprised how much of a difference that makes. Guys, I hit the green. We I didn't even know it. My <laughs> ball was five feet from the pin. I reteed, called it my breakfast ball, NBD, sure. mm-hmm. you know. Five feet from the pin, Miss Eagle Putt. Don't worry about that. (laughs) (laughs) Miss Eagle Putt. Five feet from the pin on a par four. Five feet from the pin. You can hit a green from 260 yards, but you can't hit a a hole from five feet. Such a stupid sport. He needed to grip it tighter. That's why. Yeah. But I had to grip your putter putter tighter. tighter. Mm -hmm. Guys, I went after that. I went bogey, par, par, bogey, par, bogey, par, and finished with a 40 on the back after finishing it. I missed one fairway after that. After wow. gripping my club tighter, dude. So I keep snap hooking. Maybe I should loosen the grip a little bit. Yeah, dude. I I'm not even joking. I missed one fairway after that for the rest of the round. I nice. finished with an 88 after shooting a 48 on the front. Now that's some great unsolicited advice to give somebody. Yeah. Like it, it 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 really has nothing to do with. Hey man, you like your takeaway is like you know the first inch of the takeaway is about a 45 degree angle out from the ball. So maybe it, it's nothing. None of that. It's a just like uh. Squeeze your hands a little bit more. Just a white knuckle thing. Yeah, just. <laughs> yeah, it's you know. literally what he said. And I don't even know what it fixed or anything like that. But at that point, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I got nothing left to lose. You know what I mean? I'm already on track for a 98, you yeah. know, 96. It, I mean, didn't fucking so You shot an 88? So I shot an 88. Did after first time breaking 90? Uh, no, I think oh. I did a couple years ago. But I mean, first time this summer for sure. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Um, Congratulations. Thanks, Jake. guys. Yeah. We Breakfast celebrate. Balls we, does it, yeah, does not, it count? Well, we, hey, again, I, I'm making fun of the people, not you, Jake. It yeah, counts. Uh, yeah it totally. Fucking counts. It totally fucking counts. I don't give a shit, um, dude. The, I mean, but my second time shooting 40 on nine uh, this year too, which was kind of fucking sweet. But 
just the fact that it was like literally you can look at my scorecard and you can see the exact hole where jade told me where to it grip just my, turned around yeah where jade <laughs> just said hey man just grip your club tighter hell yeah because that's always been where i lose most of my strokes is i just can't fucking get off the tee box yeah it's just really is what it is it's not even about hitting fairways it's like I'm going to be 30 feet into the trees and shit. And then I have to punch out. And then by that point, I might as well have just been OB anyways. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Isn't it kind of funny? Like all the, all these new drivers coming out is like longer distance, uh, less, like less misses, uh, less, all this kind of stuff that they're promoting. Like, it's like, you could give me a driver from 2050 that you're supposed to hit like the center lawnmower stripe of the fairway every single time and i'm still not going to hit it <laughs> it doesn't matter yeah. if i hit it off the heel yeah no exactly it's like hey uh, you know there's all this new technology that is supposed to you're supposed to fucking hit fairways i haven't found that yet <laughs> yeah oh sorry sorry for my round first tee at osgood i whiffed complete miss of the ball swing first on. swing of the day first swing of the day second swing of the day fucking striped it <laughs> I went from zero contact to the best drive I've hit all summer. Oh, but that's why we have the breakfast ball time. It doesn't count because I missed it completely. The breakfast ball was still in the pocket. Oh, that's true. Oh, well, no, I mean, again, yeah. you pined a palm last year when I I addressed the ball and I completely missed it. That fucking Yeah, counts. but I could have if I could have been like that's it was a practice swing. You're in fucking idiot for decelerating that much on that <laughs> oh i also have another chipping story too but uh, so anyway go from zero contact to best drive i've hit all summer it was 20 yards off the green let's go um I, you know how much i preach not to listen to the internet when it comes to golf advice <laughs> i listened to the internet Ooh. for a piece of golf advice because it resonated with my soul and it worked who, who who do you know who it was from? No, it's some random dude just talking about chipping and comparing it to cornhole. Oh, your chipping swing should be like the way you throw a cornhole bag. That's, that's <laughs> the best advice I've ever fucking heard in my life. Because like, dude. when you throw a, a cornhole bag, you don't stop at your hip and let the bag go. You follow uh, through. You don't lean back on your heels and throw the bag you're out forward your weights forward and you always have a follow through no matter how far away the board is or where you want the bag to land interesting your swing is the exact same it is smooth it is a follow through you don't stop at your hip you're not all wonky donkey out of it and i did that and it worked great i didn't duff any chips i maybe i hit a couple a little long but there's zero duff chips and i always have duff chips when i well golf. that's how you give a midwest guy golf advice yeah right you just give us something we know which is cornhole yeah and you roll with it yeah i'm gonna have to try that it, it felt really good and it made sense to me like oh yeah i like cornhole i i know how that feels like throw, <laughs> throw a bag and i'll try this one you gotta send that guy a message if you find him I, I should i should i'll send you guys the clip if i find it too do it but yeah, it like, was the only time somebody was like normally when I see like, all right, so if you want to fix this, I just immediately swipe away. Yeah. yeah. And this guy had a <laughs> a bean bag in his hand. And I'm like, well, I'm going to watch this one. And it's great. I like it a lot. You got to message him. You got to say, hey, I have never listened to a golf tip on the internet except for this one. Yeah. And it works. So shouts to that guy. I'll find you. I'll find you. That's sweet, man. Yeah. Good for you. Changed man. All right, should we take take a quick break? Hang on, Trevor. I didn't play this weekend. What were you doing? You're 24 uh, years old, single. We had our place. town days back home, so I went there. You didn't golf in the back no. in your hometown? I went and watched my sisters play volleyball, and I went to the street dance. And Did they win? Two tree beers, no. <sighs> Waste of time. Did you drive by your vehicle? No, I'm not a lightweight. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Yeah, he is, he is a practice drinker. I'm an experienced yeah, practice drinker. Alcohol connoisseur. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Hey, yeah. next time I have like, you know, five beers, I'm just going to call it that I was practicing drinking. Yep. <laughs> I'm practicing for next weekend. Yeah, I was just practicing drinking. <laughs> All right, uh -oh. let's, let's take a, uh, a quick little break. We'll get right back into it. Okay, speaking of double majors, Xander Schauffele, I also double majored in college. <laughs> oh, that was the segue. <laughs> Nice. Well, you're before this, you're like, hey, uh, you know, double major, Xander, and girl. Double major. <laughs> yeah. one, one thing we have in common, double major. Yeah. That second one is like two or three classes in a, my fifth year I had to take. Oof. Uh, that took five years, too. Management Information Science, MIS. Nice. 
not you a lot of use that a lot. Not a lot of knowledge behind the MIS story <laughs> there. But I use about anyway. zero percent of my major communications, um, broadcast journalism. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the U.S. sweeps uh, sweeps all four majors, and not, I mean it's only July. I'm proud to be an American. Me too. Or at least I know I'm, I'm free. free. Suck it. The rest of the world. We're better at golf than you. Oh, and what what a, what a great ending to the fourth major with the Olympics coming up what, next Seriously. week. Seriously, this week, this Friday week. it starts. When does the golf go, start, dude? Uh, I'm not sure. I love that one. the Olympics, man. Yeah, the Olympic uh, Olympic the uh, whole Olympics thing is a scam. LeBron James. What? Uh, anyway, bringing out the flag. How? Yeah. Uh, well, the billions of dollars that are generated, none of it gets paid to the athletes. Oh yeah, that's shitty, but it's not a scam. Um. Okay, a scam maybe the wrong word. I I don't know. I think I just think the I, word I, scam is kind of fun to use. Yeah, it's it is a buzzword. Yeah, for very, sure. Very much so. No, you're good. August first, Thursday one. Yep. Hell when yeah. does track and field start? That's that's my shit, dude. What what event do you want? Because it's like want, fucking two weeks. Yeah, there, yeah. I want all all the sprints. I want okay, relays. Hundred, hundred I want, meter sprint. I want one, two, four by one, four by two. Give me the four hundred as well. We yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say it's August first to August Friday, 9th. August second. All right, uh, heats it. one through four. There all we right. go. All right there. That's oh wait no hold on. That's the women. That's only prelims. Okay, so prelims for both men and women start Friday and Saturday, August first and second, and the finals end that Sunday. So Friday to Sunday, you got all every single round of the 100. Okay. Perfect. I'm dialed in. I've got it marked. Why do you like the sprints? I, I sprinted. Really? They're fun. They're electric. I don't want to watch people lightly jog for eight laps. Yeah, watch the two mile. That's boring. Yeah, this is a catfish slash golf podcast. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's catfish and golf. Um, catfish, <laughs> catfish as, in, as, in, like, yes. as in river fishing, not I'm like online dating. people right now. I'm actually a sprinter, not a golfer. Yeah, guys, I'm actually a plus one handicap. I'm catfishing you. Yeah. Um, you guys watch the open? Slight end it's of Sunday, a little bit. It's I mean, tough because it's half over when you wake up. Yes, yeah, and the the last tea time is done at what two p one thirty two p.m. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, I watched Zan, Xander win. Really, I watched for like forty minutes before it was over. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it was just for me. It was it was tough to watch a lot of those guys struggle the way they did. Mm-hmm. Um, you never really see that in. I mean, the majors they they obviously like. The courses they're playing in majors are not fucking easy. No. And Xander was what, eight under through four days it's to win the whole thing. What did he shoot? Did he shoot a 65 on the last day? Well, yeah. How many? He there were only six like six or seven under. There yeah. were only like seven golfers who were below par through four days. Right. That's actually insane. Yeah. Um, and it was tough to see Tiger struggle like he did. Oh my God, his leg, dude. Yeah, you so see the you guys, picture of his leg? Yeah. It's see, crazy. Have you not seen that before? No. So I've seen it one time before. This was months ago. Um, Tiger's leg without the leg sleeve. And it's... It, it it's looks no, like a, it looks like a decrepit branch off a tree. Yes. It, like, it's no wonder the guy is struggling mm-hmm. walking on the course. Like, there is a 15-inch, like incision slash scar slash indentation going from like his knee down to his ankle like there's yeah. zero deaf muscle definition zero it he just, has got no calf anymore yeah it's just the strangest looking leg it looks like he almost suffered like a burn injury right is what yeah it, like, yeah, is yeah the scarring is yeah tough <sighs> tough the fact to that at. he's walking let alone golfing correct is impressive yeah, it's in and what what leg is it again? Would it be his left or his right? right it's his right leg. leg. Okay, yeah. so it's it's like his it's his power leg essentially. Yep. Um fucking A, dude. I it's hard to believe that the man is still doing what he's doing under those s- certain circumstances. Yeah. This is, this is just bananas picture. The fact that he's competitive mm-hmm. with that going on is like is just as impressive as him going on a huge tear right like so when he's healthy you I know actually, what i mean i got into it with another employee here the other day they made the comparison that wasn't their original opinion uh but they saw it somewhere this someone was saying that tiger is like the dallas cowboys because they were good in the 90s and not anymore but i just Who i said that noah 
Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we, I mean, he, he understood the, the flaws in that take, but we, we got into it a little bit because that, that comparison is just completely unfair. It is one man. It is one guy with a destroyed ass leg. Not a team that has new players recycled in and out. Correct. Yeah. It's a tough take. Look at any old golfer. They're all going to be right in the 90s. There's a ceiling on it. Like, yeah. Teams are designed to stay competitive consistently, not an individual. Also, Tiger is still a fucking unbelievable golfer mm-hmm. compared to anybody else. Right. Yeah. Um, and I get like he's a little bit younger too. So like he he's kind of like out of, I mean, like does I mean, it was only, what, five years ago, but like Noah probably doesn't even, he probably didn't even follow golf when Tiger won the Masters in 2019. Probably not, no. So it's like he 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 just has like less knowledge on how good of a golfer Tiger was and like the, like the uphill and then the downhill of his life and his career in general. So I, I, I get it. Like I get why he would have that, that opinion. Yeah. But also, it, it wasn't yeah. his opinion either. He yeah, was he was just, just regurgitating a take oh. he saw on the internet, and he understood the flaws. But we still, we still got into it about it. It was kind of fun. No, I, yeah, I, I love doing that. A good constructive golf argument is is fun. But again, you like, there's no, uh, don't speak like definitively. Like this is. It's like LeBron versus Kobe. Well, or yeah. LeBron also, versus Jordan. Sorry. LeBron half Jordan. of half of talking sports is just finding one little kernel of information mm. and then just deciding to take that side just for mm-hmm. argument's sake because it's fun to argue about. Correct. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of like me with the uh, me and saying that Scotty was not going to be as good if fucking Bryson's on the tour. We're it's right like, I don't know. That. It's like it's like we're right. The Internet hated us for saying that, but we're right. Yeah. Yeah, I I I don't mm. really agree with you guys still, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, even last no. weekend, like yeah, it's like it's not like, necessarily like a crazy belief in that theory whatsoever. But yeah. it's like you just take it and argue with it. Yeah, why not? You yeah, know? yeah, it's fine. We said it. We're double down. It. We're not backing out. Yeah, you no way. Dude. Yeah, you can't now. Um, I really don't have anything else. Uh, yeah, I think I think quick little second segment. We we went pretty long in the first one. Yeah, in terms of pro- like competitive professional golf, it's you know Xander wins the major, U.S. sweeps, Olympics coming up this week. Um, hard course tough course Royal. we Truman. wouldn't be able to scramble it and shoot under par not a fucking nope. chance no I it would be interesting though to play uh, like a major course like play it from the tips and, as a and, scramble as a scramble okay as a scramble yeah, yeah. And, and like just, just see, to see where we would finish like also, I, I'd say through 18 holes I would say we'd probably finish like 8 over Oh, yeah. In, a, yeah, yeah. in a scramble yeah I'd say you're probably shoot. right I would say on the best eight over? our best performance we're even or one over our best performance. Like we're like, all fucking dialed hitting, playing to the top of our abilities. Like I'm playing, I'm playing 85 golf. You're playing 77 golf. Jake is playing his 88 golf. I don't know what's your record. 82, 82. And Trevor's playing his 82. Golf. Okay. I, I, yeah, I can see. If I we can are see playing that. our best, our best selves. I think, Maybe we go even or one over. Yeah, I think you're probably but right. Dude, like the, the, I mean, but just the like greens the, of like yeah. learning the speed, the lines. It would, but you got four putts. That's the thing. That's true. You right. Do, like, but yeah, we all got to be yeah. on. Like, we can't waste a single one of those putts. We got to get good information from each one and a caddy. Yeah. And we got a caddy. Yep. Oh, then we're definitely one going caddy under. to carry all four of our bags. And we each got a mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep stacking shit on yeah. it. Oh, okay, even one that's attainable. For sure. Um also 3M open. Is it this weekend? Yeah, TPC Twin Cities. It's like the closest tournament for us to be in. So I don't know what you guys are doing this weekend, but uh tickets are fifty bucks. So Oh, that ain't bad. There. Um yeah, Tony Finau, he crushes the three M open. Six. Yeah. He's that, won like two that's out of the his, last that's his tournament. Two out of the last three years. Yeah. Hasn't he? Just one. Something like that. But he's done well. He does well there. Yeah, so Minneapolis tournament, it d- doesn't happen often. Uh, yeah, I will, well, it happens every year. <laughs> well, a, a, t- a tournament, like tournament in, in oh, yeah, like, yeah, close yeah. to us. Gotcha, yeah, yeah, So I'm not going to be going. Yeah, I don't know. I might, I might, you know, I might last minute just get bored this weekend and drive down. Give me a Tony Fino ball. Yeah, like Please. I'll see, like, or like sun glove. tosses yeah. up a foul ball. Into Just the stand right in front of him when he's about to tee off, Tony, and then Tony, he'll Tony. give you a glove. Tony, please. <laughs> Tony, please, please, please. Tony, please, please, please. I'm from the Doug Boogie Show. We love you, dude. Biggest fans. All right, guys. All right. That's all we got for this week. We'll be back again next Wednesday. For 200. Yeah. Maybe we'll come up with something special. Love you all. Or maybe we'll just do it normal. Maybe we'll play <laughs> Maybe we can pod for 200 holes straight. Yeah. 
We'll do a 200 whole podcast. Yeah, that's a that would take us idea. an entire weekend. Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah, it'd be a good excuse to get out there though. That's true. That's All true. right, love you guys. Love you, love you dude. See ya. They fight that the wrong f- way. I'll call the clubhouse. We'll book in another 18 for tomorrow. So. Okay, they cheated on that. They fucked their balls. Yeah, no better time for the breakfast ball than now. <laughs>